Hey guys, quick back Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about line weaver bug plot. A typical curve of enzyme kinetics looks something like this. It's a plot of velocity of reaction versus substrate concentration. As the substrate concentration increases, the velocity of the reaction increases until it reaches a plateau. This is called maximum reaction velocity or Vmax for the reaction. Now, here's a problem with this graph. The plateau region is not perfectly horizontal. This means maximum velocity can be achieved only at infinite substrate concentration. Because of this, there is an error in the estimation of Vmax and Km. Hence, researchers started modifying the graph to get better estimate of Vmax. One of such graph is line weaver bug plot. According to Michaelis Menten equation, V0 is equal to Vmax into S upon Km plus S. If we inverse this equation, we get 1 over V0 is equal to Km plus S upon Vmax into S. Let's modify the term on right hand side. And so what we get is 1 upon V0 is equal to Km upon Vmax into S plus 1 upon Vmax. Now let's look at this equation carefully and compare it with the equation of straight line y is equal to mx plus c. Here y will be equal to 1 upon v0. m, which is the slope of the graph, will be equal to km by vmax. The x value will be equal to 1 by s and the intercept c will be equal to 1 by vmax. So the graph is plotted as 1 upon v0 versus 1 upon s. The intercept at y-axis is equal to 1 upon v max and the intercept on x-axis is equal to minus 1 by km. The slope of the graph will be equal to km by v max. Because it's a straight line graph, the estimate of v max becomes easy as 1 by v max is the intercept on y axis. Any change in the value of km or v max can be easily spotted just by looking at the graph. Hence, line weaverberg plot is one of the easiest graph to understand enzyme inhibition. Now, besides advantages, line weaverberg plot also has limitations. And these limitations has to do with the inverse values of 1 by V0 and 1 by S. Remember, Vmax is achieved at high substrate concentration. Now, when the value of S is very large, the value of 1 by S is going to be very small. Hence, if you're plotting the graph manually on graph paper, then finding very small value of 1 by S on the graph paper is very difficult. Also because of inverse values, the points tends to cluster in one region of the graph. And any error in the plotting the graph can give rise to error in the measurement of Vmax and Km. However, nowadays with the use of computer software, the plotting of graph should be fine. Back in the days when there were no computer, the clustering of points due to extremely small values of 1 by s encouraged scientists to develop new graph. These graphs were Hence plot and Eddie Hofstede plot.